Good morning to all of you. Oh my goodness, what a good sized crowd. I would like to ask all of the officers um, for the, um, from the parish committee uh, to come forward, as well as the trustees, uh, where you will now take the oath of office. And we're giving dispensation to, to Karen, um, who is in the choir loft. She will be taking also the oath of office at her location. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, in the beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered here today as a parish family to witness before Almighty God the installation of the parish committee. The duties and responsibilities of the parish committee should be carried out with devotion, dignity, prayer, and attention to detail. Brothers and sisters, we are all baptized into the one body of Christ and given gifts for a variety of ministries for the common good. Our purpose is to install these people in the name of God and of holy name of Jesus to the parish committee, a special ministry within the parish to which they are called and elected by the faithful of this parish. You have been called to serve on the parish committee of holy name of Jesus parish. Will you faithfully and reverently execute the duties of your office to the honor of God and to the benefit of the members of the congregation? Please answer, I will. I will. God provides the church with suitable men and women to assist the pastor and be leaders of the congregation. Let us pray for these men and women that God may bless them as they undertake their roles of service to this parish. God of glory, your beloved Son, has shown us that true worship comes from humble and contrite hearts. Bless our brothers and sisters who have responded to the needs of our parish and seek to commit themselves to your service as members of the parish committee. Grant that through their ministry they may set forth an example of dedicated faithful service pleasing in your sight. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I ask that you please recite after me the oath of office. I, please name, uh, state your name and office. I do solemnly swear, swear before Almighty God, before Almighty God and, this and this congregation that I will live, that I will live the, gospel of Christ. the gospel of Christ. Support. Support the Constitution, Constitution of the Polish National Catholic Church, Polish National Catholic Church and, bear true faith and bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to, the same, to the same under the authority, under the authority of the Bishop of, the of, this diocese, of this diocese, I will justly, I will justly honestly, 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 faithfully, faithfully impartially, Partiality. And conscientiously, and conscientiously perform, all the duties, perform all the duties, all the duties of my office, according to the best, to my ability. To my ability. So help me God. So help me God. One in the Blessed Trinity. One in the Blessed Trinity. And all the saints. And all the saints. Therefore. 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 My brothers and sisters. In the name of God and under the authority of Bishop Paul Sobiehuski, and as the pastor of Holy Name of Jesus, I install you as the parish committee for the year of our Lord 2024. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of you. And may you come to know our Lord and Savior within your hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Truly we 
become, O Lord our God. confession of our sins. <clears throat> For the penance of the confession that you have made, I ask that besides offering your morning and evening prayers, that you, for the next three nights, take one of the three readings as prescribed by the Church to reread, to meditate and reflect upon the importance <coughs> of this faith. And now, my brothers and sisters, I ask that you please recite with me the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, my sheep, you are the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord God. Alleluia. Then the Lord, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. The Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are God, the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, shepherd of your people, strengthen us, 
through your risen presence. May we walk with you each day and follow you in humble trust, for you are the Good Shepherd. You call us by name and lead us, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you are the resurrection and the life. We pray this day for our sister in blessed memory, Mary Durkee, as we celebrate her 89th birthday. Dear Lord, grant unto her forgiveness of sins and bring her into your loving presence. All of this we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Cheryl, will you please offer today's word? The first reading is a reading from the book of Acts. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of us, you and all the people of Israel, should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nerissian, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, in his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual, like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In the arms he gathers the lambs. Alleluia. The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. John the Apostle. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal. Cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, o Lord. Wayne, can I have a copy of the bulletin, please? Thank you. Jesus said. I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd 
lays down his life for the sheep, a hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and they will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Christus. I am the Good Shepherd. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel according to John. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, of all the great I am's that Jesus spoke during his life, the one that we concentrate today is where Jesus proclaimed, I am the Good Shepherd. If we were to look at the history of the Jewish people, as found in the Old Testament, we see that the Lord God is portrayed as a shepherd who leads his flock first out of the land of bondage of Egypt through the wilderness for 40 years and brings his flock into Cana, the land flowing with milk and honey. If we were to look at the history of the Jewish people. The shepherd is the one that stands out most significantly. We look in the Old Testament and we realize that there are certain noteworthy individuals who began their careers as shepherds. Abel was a shepherd. Abraham was a shepherd. Jacob was a shepherd. Moses was a shepherd. David was a shepherd. Amos, one of the prophets of God, began his career as a shepherd. We read in Genesis chapter 2, 19, that God brought all the animals to Adam to name them. His son Abel tended flocks and found his offering to God more pleasing than the offering of his brother Cain, who out of anger killed his brother. We find this in Genesis chapter 4. Later in Genesis, we, we read in chapter 13 that God came to Abraham, who had many flocks believed to have also been a shepherd, where God established a covenant with Abraham, a covenant that would continue throughout all generations, to his son Isaac and to Jacob, whom we read in Genesis chapter 35 was named Israel, 
Moses, the deliverer of the children of Israel, from the bondage of Egypt, and the giver of the Torah, was also a shepherd, as we read in the second book of the Old Testament, the book of Exodus. David, who would unite the two kingdoms of the Jews, began his career as a shepherd. And so, if we look at the history of the Jewish people, it is only right that Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, should declare, I am the Good Shepherd. You know, if we look in the sanctuary, one of the things that stands out is our Paschal candle. And as I have written in the bulletin, back in 2022, a new Paschal candle was purchased. The name of this Paschal candle is the Good Shepherd. The Paschal candle is the tallest of all candles. Its purity is that it is made entirely of beeswax. And beeswax basically comes from virgin bees. We understand that the wick is the humanity of Christ and that the light of this candle symbolizes the divinity of Christ. And so we light this candle at Easter time to remind us that Jesus is the true light which, which came into the world to dispel the darkness of ignorance. And so as we gather, my brothers and sisters, on this Good Shepherd Sunday, we reflect upon how God, in his infinite mercy and in his divine will, chose shepherds to lead his people. And it is a reminder that Jesus, as the Good Shepherd, basically leads us if we are willing to follow. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we hear Jesus saying, I am the Good Shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me. Just as I lay down my life for the sheep, my brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ as being the Good Shepherd leads us into all righteousness if we allow him to do so. I think one of the greatest of all the Psalms is Psalm 23 that we recite at special times during the year. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overfloweth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, and Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten and the Father, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten now, made of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated.
seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father, the Son, who is worshipped and glorified, he has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. I will appoint over you shepherds after my own heart, who will shepherd you wisely and prudently. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept this oblation and grant a loving, wise, and courageous spirit to all who pastor, minister, and teach in your church and your name through all their spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. may seek your glory and increase of your kingdom. We ask this forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, dear Lord God, we offer prayers this day for the repose of the soul of our sister in blessed memory, Mary Durkee. Receive her unto yourself, dear Lord, and grant her your love and your forgiveness. All of this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. We Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living 
God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, especially at this time when he became our Paschal sacrifice, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we he joined this day with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Please be seated. And today we will offer the Eucharistic prayer number two, which is found on page 82 of our Mass Service booklets, which is the Canon of St. Hippolytus. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread, he gave you thanks, and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. In like manner he took the cup and said, This is my blood which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Calling then his death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth, so that we might praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. And now let us turn to page 95 and continue Holy Mass. Forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Against us and 
lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Please be seated. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it to not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break. Is it or not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many and one body, for we are the of one bread. May the union of divinity in Jesus Christ bring a sanctification in eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And now let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be in peace. Peace be unto you. And now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Let us pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teachings and never let me be parted from you. We will take the bread of heaven and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Lord.
receive the body. Lord, may we possess with pure hearts that which we have taken as food. May the gifts we have received this day bring us healing and strength now and forever. Amen. Let my soul live to praise you, and may your ordinance help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, because your commands I do not forget. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you so shepherd your people that they shall not want. Lead us peacefully to your green pastures and refresh us beside your still waters. For us who have shared in the holy banquet, restore our souls when we go astray and always lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty
Almighty God, you sent your Son into the world to be the Good Shepherd to all our people. We ask that you would receive the prayers that we offer this day for the repose of the soul of our blessed sister in memory, Mary Durkee. Grant unto her your love and protection. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, my brothers and sisters, and may the love of the Good Shepherd be with all of you, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth this day and serve the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the soul of our late departed sister in blessed memory, for Mary Durkee. Eternal rest, grant unto her soul, O Lord. May she rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.